Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant, part of my Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Show. I got a rant for you today. Delusional, 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 delusional. The little hype that the women are getting playing basketball has made them all fucking delusional. Asia Wilson is the queen of the delusion. She's absolutely the queen of the delusion. But before we jump in, let me uh, say thank you again for your continued support of this channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, follow. Hit that like button. Hit the bell. Become a member. We are popping off our live membership um, podcast every Tuesday night, 9 p.m. tomorrow night, Eastern Time. I'm still getting over this damn cold, but we're going tomorrow, 9 p.m. tomorrow. So if you haven't become a member yet, please become a member today. Let's jump in on this topic at hand. Asia Wilson was on the Roommates show podcast with Jalen Brunson and Josh Hart. And she a, a Q&A came up that had her massively disrespecting her host, J, uh, Jalen, uh, Josh Hart. Look, man, we, 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 we understand. You're getting hyped. You're getting pubbed. You think you're the reason that people are watching the WNBA Asia. I get it. You think you are. You're not, but you think you are. And in that, and in that has created this sense of absolute stupidity, for lack of better words. This delusion that you are better than what you are. This dream that a woman who's 6'5 in the WNBA would ever in her life have a chance to be on the level of a man who is 6'5 in the NBA. Sorry, it doesn't work that way. You are still a female, and Josh Hart is still a male. So I want to play for you what was said in this podcast and how unbelievably foolish Asia, Asia Wilson sounds, her levels of delusion, her levels of disrespect. This is now crossing over multiple sports now where professional female athletes are thinking that they can take out professional male athletes. It's becoming a joke. Honestly, it's becoming a joke. And, I, and I'm getting tired of it. <clears throat> and until someone really calls this out, I, I wish Josh Hart's response would have been better. Um, but take a look at this. I did. Mm. Um, okay. He wants to know, uh, what is the end score if you and Josh play one-on-one -on -one to 11 your ball first? Mm. What's T, boys? What about you? Me? Yeah. Yeah, you. <laughs> oh, I'm not even talking about you guys. No, trust me. Everyone knows what the score would be uh, me and Josh. Uh, it's, it's not. I feel like the score would be... Like eight to eleven, me. It's not that I get ball first. You get you get ball first. She does get yeah, ball first. Not, not gonna get, get back. First. And you so, it, so, but that's gonna be your time. Like that's gonna be your period, which is fine. I'm not saying you gonna, I'm gonna go like you gonna go scoreless, but eight to eleven, I feel like it's pretty solid. So what do you think it'll be, Josh? Don't piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> Do not piss me off. <laughs> I was just about to violate this. I'm about to say, right? Don't. Man, probably like eleven two. <laughs> <laughs> You're sick. You're sick. Nah, I'll I'll say like a good eleven. Probably like eleven seven. Okay, that's fair. You got seven? Okay. No, 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 you no. You can't, no. you. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? I got, I got seven what? <laughs> I got seven plus four? <laughs> <laughs> I'd I pay this. It would back. actually be, it would be like eight to 11. I will say this is just, it, it, it's not a, it's not a bad list at all. No. It's not a bad list, but if you saw yourself on the list, would you have told us? <laughs> No, I mean, this list has this random like Benedict. If you Matherin saw yourself is not on that list, a bad player. Like he's nice. He had a, he had a great game against us. Bo Bogon, Bo, Bo, God, Bojan Bogdanovich, nice. Shannon Sharp, nice. Josh, I'm just saying, don't be mad at me. Be mad at the author. If you saw your list, your name on that list, would you have told us? Um, uh, my name. You know, I hold on. Troll F. Art. 
Isaiah Hartenstein is 398. I'm 365. So that's, 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 that's good. So that means you're top 100. Yeah, I'm 365 out 100. of, and then Yo, 450. Nah, this has 422. Yeah, look at me. Technically, I'm top. Hey. Yeah, I'm top. So I'm technically top 70, right? Sure. When was this posted? <laughs> um, Two years ago? <laughs> The fall off has been crazy, mm. but hey, we want to thank the fans. All right, I mean, I've I've heard enough. Josh Hart should have flamed her. He should have sent her into the abyss. Eleven zero. Let's be honest. Eleven zero. You can give her the ball first. You can block her shot. You can grab the rebound, and then you can dunk it on her eleven times. Unless this has some rule where you have to shoot threes and you can't shoot anything inside of 22 feet. If Josh Hart plays a one-on-one game against Asia Wilson, straight up, regular, one-on-one, he would absolutely annihilate her. It would be 11 nothing. Josh Hart plays above the rim. Josh Hart is way stronger than her. Josh Hart's the same height as her, but he's bigger and stronger. And he's flat fucking better. Better ball handler, better defensive player. I mean, just better, better shooter, faster, quicker, more agile. Like, what are we talking about here, folks? Why is why have women felt the need to try to emasculate men on podcasts and think they can get away with it? This is the same bullshit that Clarissa Shields has done in boxing, where she got knocked on her ass by a journeyman six and one boxer in, in, in a sparring session, no less. And yet then tries to call out Keith Thurman, Gennady Golovkin, and other Sean Porter and calling out boxers, male boxers, who benefit nothing by boxing Clarissa Shields. For which if they boxed her on a legitimate level, they'd knock her out inside of probably 90 seconds. This delusion that women are now having among sports, it's gone crazy. Asia Wilson will get molly by Josh Hart. It would not be a close one-on-one game. 11-0. He says 11-2. He's being nice. But he's 11-7. Bro, Josh, you don't have to belittle yourself for some fake audience that you don't actually have. Who gives a shit what the female contingency of the WNBA thinks about you. You would crush her. She'd actually probably have a better chance against Jalen Brunson because of her height. But even then, 11-0. 11-0. I'm sick and tired of listening to these fucking women get on a damn soapbox and sit here and act like they're doing something special. Yes, you are a professional basketball player. You would not score a point if you were in the W in, in, if you were in the NBA. You would not score one single point. It is irritating. That's why that whole thing with Caitlin Clark and the big three was irritating to me as well. When Ice Cube had proposed that to her. If they didn't want her to score, she wasn't gonna score. Like you're talking about guys that are way bigger, way stronger, are much, are much more athletic. Like, this is ridiculous. Angel Wilson believes her own hype. She just disrespected Josh Hart on his own podcast and thought that shit was funny. He would murder her. He would crush her. It would not be a competitive game. What are we talking about here? And this is the same crap that Clarissa Shields has been doing in boxing. Every one of those boxers would knock her stone cold on her ass. But yet she calls them out and disrespects them. It's become a joke. It's become a freaking joke. You don't hear. You don't hear. Uh, you don't hear a uh, track athlete sit here and say that they would win the 100 meters versus the men. The woman that came in first in the gold medal, won the gold medal of the Olympics, would be, but would not qualify for the men's 100. She would not qualify. 
She, I don't know. She make. I don't know that she make it out of the first round. There's a reason that there's these men are becoming women and want to compete against women because they know they're better than them. There's a reason this one at San, San Jose State or whatever it is, people are forfeiting games against them because it's a man playing women in volleyball. It's absolutely ridiculous. Venus Williams and Serena Williams did a one did a, did a they did a thing against a, a male player I believe some years ago <clears throat> where they got absolutely slaughtered by this guy. He was a nobody. This was in 1998 against Karsten Brosh, ranked 203rd in the men's in, in men's. Played a, played an exhibition match against Venus and Serena after they claimed they could be any male player outside of the top 200. He smoked them. He beat Serena 6 1, he beat Venus 6 2. 1998. I'm sorry, folks. This is, we need to stop this crap. Serena Williams has gone on record saying that she would get crushed by any of the top male players. No chance. No chance. And this is in her prime. She knows they hit too hard. They hit too hard. When does it stop? Why do these women feel so empowered to disrespect men? There's not a player in the NBA, not one single player in the NBA, that any single woman in the, in the WNBA would beat in a one-on-one -on -one game. Not one. Not a single one. I'm not saying they all got skunked 11 nothing, but a large majority of them will be skunked 11 nothing. If you put Kevin Durant against any woman in the WNBA, they don't score a point. You put any man who's 6'5 and above against anyone in the WNBA, those women don't score one single point unless the man lets them. It's just not real. And she gets up here and she thinks that shit's funny. And she believes it. I wonder if Asia Wilson thinks she'd beat Bam Adebayo in a game of one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe they played one-on-one -on -one and Bam's backed off her and let her shoot wide open shots. I don't know. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, I think this is absolutely insane. It's crazy. It makes no damn sense. And uh, it's disrespectful. But what's new? This is what the WNBA players have made a point to do. They, they think that emasculating men and, and, and disrespecting men is, is funny. But let me know your thoughts in this comment. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I really appreciate it. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow. Become a member. Be ready for that uh, membership live tomorrow, 9 p.m. Appreciate y'all. Facts and more feelings. Come on now.